Hey guys, welcome back. So, sorry about today's fairly casual attire. I've got Ollie's hoodie on, I've got full on bedhead going on, but I did decide to chuck some makeup on for you guys to spare you from my bare face. But today I received a surprise package from Elf Cosmetics. Oh yes, you heard that right. And because so many of you guys have been asking for me to do a testing elf makeup video, if you guys don't know, they are now available in Superdrug here in the UK. I thought I would unbox everything with you guys, so let's get into it. So the first thing we have here is the Makeup Mist and Set in Clear. Prevents colour from running or fading to help keep your makeup in place all day. So this is like a setting spray. I haven't really heard much about the e.l.f. setting spray, so I don't really know what to expect. But this is what it looks like, quite sleek packaging. I wonder if it smells of anything. Oh, oh actually it's got quite a nice mist doesn't seem to smell of anything, so I'm not going to test too many of the products now. I might do a few hand swatches and stuff like that, but that looks promising, especially because of the mister. Next up, we have the Mineral Infused Face Primer. <laughs> so this is what that looks like. Looking at everything, I'm pretty sure they've sent me almost a full face, so that gets me very excited. So this just comes out like a gel sort of consistency, and... Oh, it is one of those ones that kind of fill in your pores a little bit. Doesn't seem to smell of anything. Doesn't seem luminous or anything like that. It does feel very silicon based. But it has sunk into the skin really, really nicely. So, so let me know if you guys have tried this. I know I do have some viewers from the US. So yeah, really excited to give that a go. Next we have a couple of brushes. We have the Ultimate Blending Brush and we also have a Contouring Brush. This one looks good. So this is what they look like. Nice packaging. This reminds me a lot of the brush that comes with the Freedom Strobe Kit. There are a few hairs kind of poking out, but again, they're affordable brushes. What can you expect? But this feels very, very similar to the Freedom brush that I like to use. And that's one of my favorite contouring brushes, especially for cream. So really happy about that. And then this one here was the Ultimate Blending Brush. It's kind of like a domed, almost kabuki style. These are really, really soft. And this actually feels a lot like the one that I have from Zoeva. So I feel like these could be very promising. Next up, what is this? Ooh, the Velvet Matte Lipstick in Blushing Brown. Hell yeah. It's quite big packaging for just a little lipstick. So this is what it looks like. Pretty standard lipstick packaging. Ooh, that looks nice. Let's have a little swatchy, shall we? Ooh, very, very creamy. Yeah, that looks really good. Shall I put, no, I was gonna say I'll put it on now, but I'll save that for like a testing video or something. I wonder if, I've seen things on Buzzfeed where apparently these you can take out. I don't know if I'm gonna end up breaking it. I'm gonna leave it, but let me know if you can take these out. I think they're meant to be like the actual product in the lid or in the bottom of it or something. Um, yeah, that looks really, really nice. It does kind of dry down to more of a matte satin finish. Love a good nude. Next up, we have the Aqua Beauty Molten Liquid Eyeshadow in Rose Gold. Ooh, I've never seen anything about this. I've seen, I recognize a few of these products, but some of these I have never seen before in my life. I feel like Aqua is one of their newest lines or something. Like, I feel that it's like they do an Aqua blush and contouring palette or something. But this is what it looks like, just a standard doe foot. Looks pretty nice, nice and reflective. Quite a thin consistency, which means it hopefully shouldn't crease on the eyes. Yeah, like that. Next up, looks like we have another lipstick. So this is their, oh no, it's their lip exfoliator in the shade or scent, Mint Maniac. So again, same sort of packaging as the lipsticks. Ooh, that does smell minty. So it's just like this green. I imagine it'll come out quite clear. Oh, mine's kind of fallen out a little bit, but we'll just shove that back in. I swear that always happens to me. Does that happen to anyone else? But, ooh, it does feel quite grainy, actually. At first, it felt kind of balmy, but now that I've kind of gotten rid of the, like, outer glossy part almost, it is very, very gritty. And, yes, I am smelling my fingers on camera. That smells really, really good. Okay, excited to try that. Next up we have two of their matte lip colors. These are like little crayons or something. Yeah, they're like little crayon pencils. We have one in the shade Tea Rose and one in Mulberry Maven. Tea Rose looks right up my street. This is what the packaging looks like. I really do like how sleek 
e.l.f. packaging is. It does look very similar to NARS packaging. I think that's what they're going for. This kind of looks like a cat's penis. If you've seen a cat's peen, you know exactly what I'm talking about. A little pocket rocket. So this is what it looks like. Ooh, nice little Moby. I swear, these viewfinders just get me every time. It's there. This color here, really liking that. It feels quite creamy as well. I just realized how weird it was that I was comparing that to my cat's dick. I don't look at it out of choice, but I'm gonna stop talking. So this is the next one. This one is called Mulberry Maven. It's that darker shade just over there. Same sort of thing. Really, really nice. They do look quite creamy as well. So yeah, really interested in those, especially the more pinky shade. Ooh, okay, I'm excited about this one. This is their contouring blush and bronzing powder. As you can see, very NARS-like. And what does this look like? Oh, it's a different color than what I was expecting. Is this like a highlighter? Now I'm even more excited. It says, it says contouring blush, and it's in the shades St. Lucia. So you have like a contouring shade here. Looks very similar to the Makeup Revolution one that I like, the um, Renaissance Glow one. That's what I've got on at the moment. So I really like that. And then this, is this a blush or is this a highlight? You're gonna be all excited here. I feel like it's kind of a bit of both. You may be able to see it just there. It's quite like a subtle highlight, but it's definitely not like a really intense blush or anything. I feel like that could work really well almost just like a blush topper. But yeah, that is really nice. Excited to actually give that a go because I've seen them advertised on like load of other people's um, elf hauls and stuff like that for years. So really excited for that. What is this? Yes. This is a highlighter. This is the Baked Highlighter in Blush Gems. I feel like I've either had this and lost it or I nearly had this, like I nearly bought it. And apparently with these, yeah, they're not the most pigmented at all when you first get them going, but apparently you're gonna scrape off like the top section or something. I feel like I'm ruining this product by doing this, but apparently if you scrape off the top, the top section, if you get to the under layer, oh yeah, that's the secret. Learned that from Jacqueline Hill. Yeah, boy. It's quite like a rosy tone almost. But yeah, that is the ticket. Okay, so if you have one of these and if you're not getting much pigment from it, it's like the MUA ones where you need to scrape off the top layer, get rid of the baked section, and that is when the magic happens. Nice. We then have two eyeshadow palettes. So we have one, Need It Nude and Mad For Matte. Yes, how did they know? So this here is the Mad For Matte palette and I feel like, again, I've heard someone talk about this Maybe Tarty, maybe, not sure, but pigmentation looks pretty good. Yeah, nice enough considering the price point. Let's try another one quickly. Let's go for this black shade actually. I think it's more of like a, a deep smoky gray. Not as pigmented, but we can definitely work with that. Loving the packaging on this, so thank you so much for that. We then have the Need It Nude palette, which is more shimmers, although there are a few mattes in there. I think there's four mattes. Let's go for one of these shimmery colors. Ooh, baby. Put that one there. Yeah, you can really see how metallic that is if I kind of move my arm like that. These look nice, especially the shimmery ones. Cool, excited to try those out. We then have one of their blush palettes. This one is in the shade Light. And you can actually pop these out, I think, so you can kind of mix and match to your own palette. That's what they look like. Let's swatch this more natural shade. Nice, nice. Running out of arm space here. Ooh, quite subtle. Let's try a brighter one. Just there. Yeah, they're quite subtle, which is what I actually prefer because you can kind of build them up. They seem really good. Same sort of thing, but a contour palette. This one is in the shade light as well, I think. I'll leave a link to everything down below. But we have some matte contouring shades. I believe they're matte. That looks very cool toned. Yeah, I can get on board with that. And then is this a shimmer highlight? I think there may even be a shimmer highlight in this. Yeah, there is. It's very icy but that could be really, really good for like a full face sort of thing because you have got almost like a bronzy blush shade as well and then something to go 
under your eyes like a banana powder. Awesome. And then last but certainly not least, we have their illuminating palette. Hmm. Are you illuminating or are you brightening? Okay, so we've got a bright highlight there. That one's kind of just like a more illuminating shade. What about this one? Some of them seem matte. Some of them are more shimmery. Yeah, there's like two shimmers, two mattes, both quite icy. So yeah, that's what they look like. Not as blinding as I thought they were gonna be, but there's definitely a few icy highlights in there that we can work with. But yeah, that is everything for my e.l.f. haul. Thank you so much to the guys at e.l.f. for sending all of those products over. I cannot wait to give them a go. If you've tried any of the products I have featured today, then do let me know in the comment section down below. And if you are excited for a testing e.l.f. makeup video, then again, do let me know or leave this video a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you are new because I post every other day. But yeah, apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.